Colonel Larry Hogan. Thank you. Thank you very much. Good morning, everybody. It's great to be here with you. Thank you for the kind words, Colonel. Happy 100th birthday, MSP. What an incredible day. Uh, you know, the last time I was here uh, at Meriwether Post, I was backstage with Chris Stapleton. Today was even more exciting. I got to be backstage with Colonel Jerry Jones. I mean, it's just incredible. So thank you, Colonel. Um, it uh, really is uh, wonderful to be here with all of you, and I want to uh, just uh, recognize Colonel Jones and the leadership team of MSP, all of our distinguished guests, the family and friends that are here today, uh, but most importantly, the proud members of the 152nd Trooper Candidate Class. Let's give them another big round of applause. <laughs> you know, after uh, an unprecedented and incredibly difficult uh, year and a half uh, for our state and the nation and the world, I'm so pleased and so grateful uh, to be here today among so many of Maryland's finest and their families to congratulate these 46 new members of the MSP. This class has the distinction of uh, beginning almost exactly 100 years after the very first MSP Academy class. And now after you take your oath here today, class 152 will be charged with leading this agency into its next century of service, a task which I know that you are both well equipped and well prepared for. These 46 new troopers uh, faced a number of challenges over the past year, including schedule adjustments and weeks of virtual socially distanced uh, learning. But ultimately, each and every one of you endured 27 weeks of intense and relentless training in order to earn the honor and the privilege of wearing an MSP badge and a Stetson. And I'm so grateful to each and every one of you for answering the call to serve what is truly the finest state police organization in America. Back in November of 2014, when the results were coming in uh, on election night, I'll never forget, it was a knock on my hotel room door and it was state troopers from the executive protection detail. They knocked on the door and they said, Governor, we're here to protect you. It's the first time I'd ever been called governor, but I was really proud at that moment. I realized that the awesome responsibility that I was uh, assuming, and I can tell you I was incredibly proud of the men and women that I'd be leading. Every single day since then, I have tried to uh, shake the hand of each and every trooper that I meet, uh, every law enforcement officer and first responder all across the state to personally and sincerely thank them for their service. I've shared uh, tears and prayers and, and hugs with the grieving families of our fallen heroes, and I assured them that their loved ones would never be forgotten. And for six and a half years now, as the Colonel said, our administration has strongly supported MSP and public safety initiatives that enable all our troopers and all other members of law enforcement to be able to do their jobs more effectively. Not a day goes by that I am not thankful that I have the honor to be your governor and commander in chief. And I want every single member of Class 152 uh, to know, especially in today's environment, when too often our law enforcement officers are unfairly criticized and don't get the recognition and appreciation that they deserve, that you have, and you will always have, full support of your government. And I want you to know that I will have your back and that I will continue to proudly stand with each and every one.
Class 152 has been trained by some of the smartest, uh, most experienced, and probably toughest academy instructors anyway. Uh, that demanding training has resulted in a group of new troopers who are capable of doing extraordinary things. Congratulations on your accomplishment and on behalf of all of the people of an incredibly proud and grateful state. We wish each and every one of you success, safety, and Godspeed. God bless each and every one of you as you protect and serve. May God bless the MSP and the great state of Maryland. Thank you.